macOS Sonoma 14.4 is here. On my device, you can see the update size that it comes in at 13.6 gigs, updating from the betas that I've been testing for some time. And this update has some new features and changes that I would like to show you. Let me just finish the update and then we'll get to see what's new within the OS. We've updated our Mac device. And now if we go into settings and then go to general and go to software update, you can see the new build number that we have 23E214. When it comes to some of the new features and changes that are here, the first one that I have to mention has to do with FaceTime. The change that Apple has done here is to save face for many users because Thanks to the new interactions that FaceTime has when you raise up your thumb or do this or make a heart, there's a number of users that have complained for this when they were like in very important meetings and interactions just come out of nowhere. So starting with this macOS 14.4 beta 3 going forward, Apple is defaulting reactions to off. So you won't see my reactions here because I'm using a third party camera. But if we go to where it says video here and then say select FaceTime video. My video is going to go all terrible, but this is my uh, MacBook camera now. But here, if we go to reactions, you can see the different reactions that you can do. Thumbs up, it does this. And then thumbs down, it does this. You see, it rains. And then if you do a heart, it does this. If you do like a thumb up like this, it does like a like. So these are some, they, they're pretty good reactions, right? And Starting with this update in order to avoid accidental triggers or unintentional triggers, Apple is removing these uh, or switching reactions off by default just like this. And now users will have to manually enable this if this is something that they want to turn on in order to save face or save you from being embarrassed in the meeting when you are explaining something and all of a sudden you have fireworks in the background. So that's just one change that's here with this update. Another change that's here with this update that's actually a good one has to do with canal panics that have been resolved. So if you're experiencing a number of canal panics on your device where sometimes it will just all of a sudden re start out of nowhere or force close your applications out of the blue and then it would say this quit unexpectedly report well this update at least for me and my experience and from what i've seen online seems to fix a lot of canal panics which is something that's good and it goes to show how stable it's working as we go on closer to the release date another update that's here has to do with the apple tv application so you can see here when you open up this Apple TV application for the first time. There's a new pop-up screen that tells you about notifications as well and you can enable it. Also, if you're updating for the first time, you are going to see a new pop-up screen of what's new. And then also the version that we have for the Apple TV, as you can see here, has been updated. It's now 1.4.4.48. And then also you can see here when it comes to the music application version, it's very identical to what we saw with the Apple TV. This has to do with uh, changes that are being implemented with the Apple Vision Pro device and bringing it over to be supported on Mac when you mirror your Mac screen to your Apple Vision Pro so that it goes seamless and they fix a few bugs and issues with the latest Vision OS 1.1 that's also going to be released pretty soon. A good change that this update adds has to do with uh, wallpapers. So if you go to your wallpaper section, at least for me who's been testing this Mac OS 14, 14.44 around now you can see that they've added these new uh, pictures for the wallpapers with these are the iMacs that were released recently and then you can see they added the pro black for the macbook pros that were released in black and then of course these ones were existing but starting from pro black going all the way to this hello metallic they were missing but now it's good to see that apple has added these on your keyboard if you press control command and spacebar you can see some of the new emojis that we have we have about 18 different new emojis that have been added some of them have to do with different updated app icons for family so you can see this one is updated this one is updated too and uh, so are these and it doesn't end there because if you go to the smiles here you can see this one is new and that
that's basically head shaking vertically this one is new head shaking horizontally in animals and nature we have this phoenix bird that has been added if you go to food and drink you can see the old lime that we had but now that this one that we have is a slice piece of a lime and that's something that's new as well when it comes to mushroom you can see the old existing mushroom that we used to have and now they've added this brown mushroom another thing that changed here when it comes to podcast when you open it up for the first time you'll be able to see a new pop-up screen that has been updated and then at the same time if you choose any podcast that you have right here for example this one and you go to any episode you can play it right there and then if you click on the three dots you can go to where it says view transcript and now you can see the podcast transcript and right on the top corner right there you can see we have the search icon if you have a specific word or sentence or phrase that you want to find you can search it and then when you find it you can click it and it will begin to play where you have clicked but as of now that click to jump doesn't seem to be working fully but it's good to see that they've added transcript that you can search for and if you are using accessibility settings you can actually change some settings to be able to fit your need by expanding text and also if you want to change the contrast that's something that's supported in here now also something you might have noticed here if you look at my podcast application this used to be called listen now but it's now called home and it doesn't stay in the podcast application it's also changed in the apple music application you can see listen now use is now called home as well and then the same goes to apple tv you can see the home text has been like unified through most of apple media devices or media application which is something that's i think a little bit better in my opinion and then when it comes to another setting that i would like to show you that has been improved especially if you stay in germany it has to do with siri so if you basically when seeing the option where it allows you to say the phrase just siri and not the hey and then siri the full phrase in germany now you have the ability to be able to enable this which is something that's good now another thing that has been mentioned with this update has to do with safari so safari has your favorites here and then if you want you can click where it says view and then you can you know show favorites bar or hide the favorites bar so if you show the favorites bar there's now an update where it allows you to basically hide the text you see how it says show title if we hide that you can see it's now just an icon and then for example if we go to this adobe firefly and then hide the title you can see it's just now the icon i couldn't find a way to do it for these but it will be cool as well if you could do it for your main favorites tab but now you can see when you enable this favorites bar you can hide the text and just have the icon showing which is a more cleaner look apple recently released a new macbook air that you are seeing right here and this macbook air now has an m3 chip and i'll be happy to let you know that this is now supported on mac os 14.4 so if you get it don't worry this update is supported and it seems to be utilizing the same wallpapers that we have in settings so nothing changed in that aspect if you open up your clock item and then you go to the ringtones right here if you go all the way down you can see we have these classics and including others too so if you're on mac os 14.3 the last ringtone you will see before classic is called waves but now you can see they've added quite a number including valley and then if you go to the classic if you're on mac os 14.3 under classics you won't see all this list that you see here and you can see you can be able to scroll up and down with mac os 14.4 beta 1 because they've added all the classics and uh thanks to the porting over from ios as well and these are all ringtones that you can check out should you want to use the timer this update also changes and fixes a bug that would cause some windows to turn blank and right here i haven't experienced that issue so it seems to be something that's fixed for the better and then if you are a person that uses third party stickers or memojis and you are having them go blank in your messages i'll be happy to let you know that this is now an issue that has been fixed and there's also a fix when it comes to pass key for different websites even apple's own website this was an issue but now with this mac os 14.4 that has been resolved now i'll be happy to let you know that 
with this update they've added a few new widgets so for example if we go to the clock you can see they've added these new widgets for the clocks that you can select and drag and or whenever you want to put them on your screen this is something that you can do and these same widgets too like the cd3 or this clock digital and as well and clock 2 have been improved in a way and if you want to add them you just have to drag them and put them there but it's something that has been added so basically those are all the new features and changes that are here in mac os 14.4 that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon peace